Let's graph our next equation in the rectangular coordinate system. We have the equation y is equal to x squared minus 4. So we'll choose some values for x ranging from negative 3 to positive 3. We'll substitute the values into our equation. So let's do that. When x equals negative 3, the y value will equal negative 3, that quantity squared, minus 4, which is just 9 minus 4, or 5. Now we'll substitute in negative 2. So we'll get y equals negative 2 quantity squared minus 4, which is 4 minus 4, or 0. Let's substitute negative 1 for x. y will equal negative 1 quantity squared minus 4, which just gives us 1 minus 4, or negative 3. Substituting 0 in for x, we get y equals 0 squared minus 4, which is just 0 minus 4, or negative 4. We'll substitute 1 in for x, and we'll get 1 squared minus 4, which equals 1 minus 4, or negative 3. When we substitute 2 in for x, we'll get 2 squared minus 4, or 4 minus 4, which equals 0. And finally, when we substitute 3 in for x, we'll get 3 squared minus 4, which is just 9 minus 4, or 5. So now we have some points that we can plot on our rectangular coordinate system. Notice when x was negative 3 up here at the start, we got a y value of 5. That means the point negative 3, 5 is a point on our graph. When x was negative 2, the y value was 0. So negative 2, 0 is also a point on the graph. When x is negative 1, y is negative 3. There's another point on our graph. And when x is 0, the y value is negative 4. That's going to be the vertex of our parabola. When x is 1, y is negative 3. When x is 2, the y value is 0. And when x is 3, the y value is 5. And now we can join these points to make a smooth curve, which is going to be in the shape of a parabola. And this is the graph of y is equal to x squared minus 4.